So I wanted to give you guys a quick video. I, uh, my wife and I, she works mostly on Macintosh and I work mostly on PC. And she bought a uh, Thunderbolt display about three years ago. They look awesome. They have a high gloss display, 4K display. Uh, this is this one's I think from 2013 and still looks great, works great. But um, when she was starting to work on her laptop, starting to move over to, on her MacBook, starting to move over to video editing, her the speeds were just were not there. It doesn't have the, the hardware and the horsepower to be able to do 4K video editing. So I had came to an impasse too. Do I buy a new uh, iMac or uh, Mac Pro, whatever they're called, the desktops that Mac puts out for about $4,000? Or do I upgrade my P PC and uh, let her use um, the PC with Mac with Mac installed? So Hackintosh, what people call it. Uh, I can do that whole upgrade for about $700. So I ended up going with the $700 option. The thing I didn't know, the reason I'm posting this is because I was able to get the Thunderbolt display hooked to a PC. So what three things you're going to need to do is you need to have a Thunderbolt EX3 card. Um, this is pretty typical. You can pick it up on Amazon or Newegg. Um, not too bad. They used to have a Thunderbolt EX2 card. I don't know if it'll work with the Thunderbolt 2, uh, EX2 card. I know it works with the Thunderbolt EX3. So to give you, and then also right now I'm running the uh, Asus Prime Z370 Alpha, and that is to minimize cost. I wanted to build a budget board that I could do some slight overclocking with. Doesn't need bells and whistles. I didn't need lights and all those fancy things. It has four four video card slots, and it works just fine. So anyway, I will show you down here how I hooked it up. So your typical setup. Got my CPU right here with the fan got uh, normal cooling, here's my graphics card, I'm, I'm running the GTX 1070, and then here's that Asus Thunderbolt EX card. It goes, uh, you can see right here, that it has the Thunderbolt pin header right here that connects to the motherboard right there. That's important, if you buy another motherboard that doesn't have that Thunderbolt uh, header right there, this won't work. You can't just plug this into any one of your um, EX16 slots. You need to plug it into uh, there and on the motherboard. Then on the back, I had some questions about this when I was exploring it. Uh, what I did is I went from the GTX 1070 output right here, DV port, and then it goes down to the Thunderbolt EX card, and then it goes through a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 converter. Uh, this is the Mac version. I wouldn't recommend the other ones. I know Mac has some funny things about working with third-party third party, um hardware, so I just went ahead and bought the authentic one. It was actually cheaper. This one ran about $38. And then I also, and then that goes up to the Thunderbolt display. I also have my 27-inch um, 1080p display hooked into that same 1070, uh, GTX 1070. Just so you know, this is not plug and play. You, what you want to do is uh, restart the computer, and then once you boot back up with the TV, uh, with the display plugged in, then it will pop open and work. Um, also, since the, both displays are plugged into the graphics card, I don't think I can actually uh, work on the BIOS through these screens because they're plugged into the video card and not into the um, motherboard mounted HDMI out. So if you need to get into the uh, BIOS to do some overclocking or whatever, I'd recommend um, keeping a, a typical HDMI display around so you can plug it into the motherboard and um, access that. Like I said, this one cost about 80 bucks. The motherboard cost about 130 bucks. The Z Z370, and then your little converter cost about, um, I think that was about 38 dollars. So all in all, not bad. The biggest uh, cost for me was since I was buying a new um, Gen uh, 8 uh, Intel processor, I had to upgrade to the 370. So. And I didn't want to upgrade my computer to an older generation processor. I wanted the most up-to-date processor. So that's why I went to 370 instead of the 170. Um, hope this is helpful. Please post any questions or if you have any other concerns, if you want me to try things out. Oh, before I forget. So one thing that I never saw posted was whether or not the sound worked. And the sound works just fine. Um, let me just open up YouTube real quick and show you guys. So I did no changes, it simply came, plugged it in, works fine. So whatever drivers need to be loaded, um, they come with it or whatever, it's good to go. Also, I haven't tried the um, webcam yet 
or the microphone. So that is yet to be proven that it works. I haven't tried it yet at all yet, so it very well could work. I said, post any picture, uh, any questions or any if you have any concerns. Hopefully, I'll be able to help you out. Thanks.